is Egan Peter Geek 010101 001 here, and today I uh, got a bit of a special for y'all. So, we have this neighbor uh, who lives on our road. I'm not going to give away his actual name because that is private. And yes, I do respect people's privacy, and there's my dog Landon. Hey, Landon, I kind of need you out of here. There we go. And he had a over the over the range microwave. Oh there. He had an over the range microwave that wasn't functioning right. But now what I would do is that like it heated up food and everything, so not a bad magnetron or MOT microwave oven transformer. But what I would do is that like you would push the start button sometimes it would start and other times it wouldn't start but yeah the neighbor got frustrated with it and finally just replaced it with the Samsung microwave as indicated by the big fat box over there uh, I mean it has a Samsung logo on it but yeah, this was a Whirlpool microwave. And yeah, get a good look at this here. Yes, I know, big fat mess. Uh, I am going to be parting out this, I am parting out uh, this microwave. Uh, again, over the range, over the oven, over the blank, yeah. Over the stove, over the insert adjective, over the insert adjective that describes an oven here, microwave. But yeah, this unit right here is very heavy for its size. But I mean, uh, uh, this, here's our front panel selection thing, whatever. Uh, that whole thing right there, what, uh, did fit on the bottom of the unit. But, yeah, it's, again, a bit of a mess, a uh, bit of a mess in here. But, I am parting out this microwave. Very greasy. Come on, get... I'm, I'm just going to be pulling this cover off. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. But, yeah, this is a fuse holder. That's a, I think, a 6 microfarad, 400 volt AC capacitor. Uh, both of which I'll be saving and reusing. There's this thing here, which is like a four or five stage couplet of sorts. Yeah, remember couplets and old radios and stuff? Yeah, this is, this is pretty much a couplet in a can. And this is what the line cord attaches to. Yeah, I'll be somewhat, I'll be most of the way parting this thing out, but at the same time, I'll be modifying this. Like, I'm ditching all of the logic controls in this thing, and I'm going to go for, like, a, rem a remote system. Where I can manually activate certain things via a remote. So yeah, so this, this is staying, uh, probably going to be putting my own fan and stuff in here. Uh, I could probably cut that out and stick a fan in, but still then, there really wasn't any provisions for fan entry. Except on the side here, maybe. 
And if it's on the side, then probably... Um... Let me see if I can dig it out. Good flat blade screwdriver and kind of knock this free. Dang it, can't. Who's that there sticking up? Good, got that out. There we go, just dropped right on out. Hmm. It's a metal channel. This right here must be where the magnetron and stuff is. Because, I mean, kind of a good look up in there. It's just a metal slot. Very interesting. I've actually never taken apart a microwave before. But I mean, I'm probably going to hack that front control panel. Maybe hack the display and make it do some interesting stuff. But I mean, everything that I'm saving off this unit is going to go, is going to be used as spares. Uh, this is a 250 volt 20 amp fuse. So this and so this and that must be safety caps. And I really like how after the line cord, uh, ground is connected straight to the case right off the bat. But where the heck? Hold up. On just a second. Sorry about that. Was taking my doll landing outside. So what was I talking about again? Oh yes. Uh this channel here. But I mean yeah. I was figuring out where the heck this stuff originates from. So we have a little rectifier thing there. Okay, blew off the can, wrecked the fire thing. Uh, this goes to this thing here, which is the control panel. Uh, and this. So I want a yellow wire that. Uh, went to the control panel. Uh, this red and black to the control panel. Uh, so these must have been for powering the control panel, I think. But if this fuse is rated for 20 blazed amps, what the heck is it with this wire? What? Th that doesn't make sense. That's weird. Yeah. Let's see if I can fit this cover back in place. I can't get this in place. Just use it as a frisbee. Good enough. But yeah. So this is what's been happening. So this is what happened. Happened. 
So it looks like I'll be working on this over Christmas break. I can just pull these zip ties off. And heck, I could probably get rid of most, if not all, of this harness. Best case is, it's just going to be most of this harness that has to go. Looks like we have a big fat resistor of an unknown value that looks to be in series with... Uh, something here looks to be in series with that with that both sides one side of this goes up to this door switch uh, door uh, door switch controls main power to MOT MOT powers magnetron. Uh, other side of this goes to main panel. Other side of this magnetron. Not a magnetron. Other side of the MOT goes up to that. This. This goes out to the control panel somewhere. I don't know, that's complicated. And then there's that. Hmm. But yeah. So that's what's going to be happening. So I'm just going to be keeping y'all updated on this. But I mean, I've already spared this entire bottom cover, the entire control panel, uh, spared the fan motor, a lot of sheet metal and plastic that I can probably get recycled. I'm getting myself some wire. Bunches of screws. What was this to? Okay. Uh, that was a magnetron. Did not expect that. Yeah, I think that was them. I think that is the magnetron. Holy cow! I'm gonna need to put some sheet metal over the top over the top of that. I mean, there's that, and that. Fan right there. So yeah, that's the magnetron behind that. Let me see if I can get a shot of that for y'all. Can't. I can't. But I think it's... Yeah, I can try. Because, I mean, if I bend my head good enough, I can see it. But, I mean, if you can't see it, it's... See that hole? See that opening? It's right in that opening. Darn it. Erg. Um... I may not be able to, sh I'm probably not going to be able to show you all that. But yeah. So yeah. Looks like I'll just be uh, working on this and keeping you all updated as I go. So yeah, this is the Computer Geek 01010101 here. Peace out guys. Peace out.